Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Zelda 2. Now, we have finally reached a new area of Hyrule, and there's plenty of crap to do here. Like, get ambushed in the swamp and die! No, let's not be so cynical. We aren't going to die, probably. What we are going to do is try and get through this forest, which is going to be full of these really annoying lizard men. I don't really care about killing. And it's not that the XP isn't nice at this point, it's that killing them is a big pain in the ass. As I've already demonstrated in some cave somewhere. Ugh, I just don't want to deal with it. Eventually we're going to go to that cave up there. But for now, all I want to do is get down here to the beach. And I didn't want to go across that bridge because I'm sure there's something less fun than... That. Whoa, what the hell? Huh. I actually didn't know about this little spot. Well, I bet you we can find some magic or something. Hey, there we go. Health. XP. How do I get health out of that? It's not health at all. What we are going to get is something very similar to health. It should be over here in one of these corners somewhere. Not one of the corners in which we get encountered by enemies, though. Okay. Not there. Just follow up the side of the sea like a staircase. And there we are. The last heart container of the game. Now we have all the health we can besides leveling up our life stat one more time. But, hey, who said we are going to do that? No, I mean, why would I want to end the game with perfect stats? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Either I'll get there on screen, just through regular gameplay, or I'll have to grind for them because there's no way in hell we're getting through the final dungeon without having maxed out Link. <sighs> I mean, really, look at this. It's ridiculous. Taking way too much damage from everything around. I'll screw you two! I'm not in a good mood. <sighs> First time I've been recording this in a little while, and trying to set everything up again with the computers is really annoying. I mean, first I'm trying to get the mouth, the mouth, the microphone mouthpiece set up so it doesn't uh, catch my breath, my breathing. Whoa! Oh, ah, damn it! It's gonna say awesome. I dodged those guys. Now I can get back to destroying this forest. But nope, their buddies got me, and their buddies got me. Now I'm trying to break the forest apart so I can get to the next town. There it is. Oh, fuck you. You know what? I ain't going to kill you, because I'm right next to the town. And you deserve it. No, screw you. You're dying. And your spider friend. Whoa. Arrgh. See, this is why I wasn't fighting them all that time before. I still stand by that they deserve it. Yes! Come on. There we go. Upstab to kill those. And here we are in the new town, Hidden Town of... Yeah. Kasuto? Sure, that's close enough. Hey, what do you do? Oh, cool. We don't even have to do anything special when we get help from this old lady. That's kind of... That's your relief after all the crap we've done so far in the game. Hmm. We'll have to look into that, I guess. And, hey! I wasn't expecting that. So, now we finally have all the magic and all the health. That happened in a different order than I thought it did, though. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I just don't know what I'm going to do at the edge of town now. Oh, well, maybe I should go into this house here and see what's going on. Oh, it's just empty house. Wonderful. What a waste of time. Let's heal up. And talk to the magic restoration lady, of course. Come on, let me in your house. Nice dwelling. Two stories, kind of awesome. Don't really... I wouldn't think you'd see that a whole lot in the, you know, Dark Ages or Middle Ages. Or any kind of Renaissance time. 
Hmm. Oh, the fountain doesn't seem to do anything special. And here's the edge of town. Now, I don't have... Well, I think I'm supposed to have to do that. And now I don't know how I'm supposed to get it. <laughs> I thought that I was supposed to have the spell... Well, spell... And cast that at the edge of town. Oh. Really? Well, this is apparently the house I needed to go to to get whatever spell I'm supposed to get to do what I'm supposed to do at the edge of town. Blah! That made any sense at all. <laughs> yes, the magic word is spell. You should learn to spell! Sorry, Peloswap Ninja reference there. Everyone should watch... Well, watch what they do. Listen to their stuff. Dan Emmerich is amazing, even though he sold the soul to Activision. And if he's listening, yes, this is a T-Dar talking here, so... Don't worry, I don't really mean anything when I say that. And there we are, cast spell, and this weird structure raises out of the ground. And we get to come into the third house that looks just like this! And ooh, nifty! I'll definitely take that. That is like the master key, magic key, lion key, whatever key. It makes it so I don't need keys anymore at all. Yes! Okay, so I think that's all the preparation we need to do before starting up the next palace. Which we will get to, um, well, almost immediately. It's not too far away. I don't have to do anything else before it. Hopefully, I'll even be able to get there in this video. And we'll be moving right along towards the end of the game here. I mean, we've got one more of the first six palaces. Palaci? Palaci? Whoa. You know what? I'll kill you, because I want your XP. And, hmm. He was easier to kill, and, you know, logically gave less XP than this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we are. There, ha. As I was saying, we have one more of those palaces left, and then we have the final palace up. The Grand Palace. I think I was ducking there, which is why I took that shot. Okay. I am not going to justify that hit by logic. I was trying to downstab, so I thought I'd bounce off of him. Apparently, they're immune to downstab bounce when they jump through you. It's like they parry your sword away just to punch you in the face. Like a barbarian. Or a monk. Or a... I didn't want to walk into this area again. I should have remembered where it was. And look at that suspicious setup of mountains there. We're gonna go investigate. Because that's what heroes do. Let's see. Play the whistle. And the new palace appears before our eyes. And it's red, like blood. It's going to be spilling all of our blood! No! It's a red iron knuckle. I wanted magic. Oh, cool. 200 XP, though. I'm not going to complain about that. But I think I am going to end up stopping the video here. We'll start this palace up next time on Let's Play Zelda 2. This is Classic Homer signing out. Have a good night.